Hey everybody, welcome to another photo editing session. I hope you've been enjoying these sort of more casual lessons where you kind of just sit sit with me and see what I'm doing. So this last photo is a very artistic one, I would say. It's um, basically the grass was dying and behind this, you can't see it in this photo, but there was this big fountain. This is at the city hall in Fullerton and it was empty. And that's because we're in a drought in California, a five year drought. and cities are doing a lot to cut back and uh, including just not watering their grass and so I thought this was an interesting take on that so first I'm going to crop it just crop it in a little bit there's a little bit too much negative space right now someone might see this and be like wow this was just completely out of focus this was a bad picture but I think if I crop it in just a little bit I, I like having these kind of like historic looking buildings in the back you can still see those details uh, but I want to see be able to focus more on this grass as well. So I think cropping in like that kind of helps. And I'm just going to um, start with the highlights and shadows, just kind of bring up the hot shadows, bring down the highlights, bring down the whites a bit, and or bring up the whites a bit, and bring down the blacks to add a little bit of um, contrast to this. Saturation, I'll just increase just a little bit don't want to go overboard with saturation, but I think with this series of photos that I've been editing, I like the saturated look a little bit more. Now with the tone curve, just going to add a little bit more contrast, bringing up those, those highlights, bringing down the shadows and the darks, something like that. So this is looking pretty good. Um, I think with this one, I'm going to just see what the white balance looks like. If I make it more warm or more blue, you can see if I make it more blue, you don't get that warmth feeling, so I want to make it a little bit more warm, actually. Not too much so that it doesn't like look yellow, but so that it gives a feeling of warmth and drought, basically. Then I'm going to go down here, and I can zoom in here, and you can kind of see the noise that's in some of these leaves, the grass that I got, and I'm going to just increase that to 25. Cuts that down a little bit. And then with a vignette, I'll just see what it looks like, but I think I'm not going to add in a vignette for this photo because it's more of a photo that is not focused on the center of it, it's focused on the bottom. And vignettes are really to focus the attention of the viewer on the center of an image, kind of like with this Fullerton sign one. The only other thing I'll do and I'll just play around with is a graduated filter. So if I create a graduated filter for the sky, I'm just wondering what this would do to this image. So if I make it a lot darker, it really focuses your attention on here. But also if I make it brighter, it kind of focuses your attention on the grass. If I make it a little bit brighter and play with the white balance, I make the white balance of the sky a little bit more blue. What that does is it still makes this other part of the image warm, but it doesn't um, look as you know, unnatural. So sometimes it's like playing a little bit with your audience's mind. I want the sky to look natural, but I do want to add a little bit of warmth to the grass, which I could have done the reverse. I could have created a graduated filter for just the grass and made that more warm. But um, this is just another way to do it. So let's just see if I decrease the sharpness even more, if that does anything else. Not really exposure just like playing a little bit so I do like the overexposed look a little bit so I'm just going to add that and I think I'm pretty happy with this image actually it's kind of a funny image it's a little bit uh, creative for sure but I like it so let's just see the reset version to how it is now we can also do some comparisons this way so let's see the before and afters of this image before and after this one before and after, I like that a lot. I left it sat uh, with color and not black and white. Uh, I kind of like that more. This one I think is the biggest change. You got this brewery sign, totally unsaturated. Here you got the blue sky. It might be a little bit too blue, a little bit too dark, so I might go in there and edit that afterwards. Here's the bamboo forest. This one's the most subtle changes, but just adds a little bit more color and contrast. I like that. 
And then here with the orange, the main difference is this orange pops a bit more and uh, there's a little bit more contrast to the photo as well. So I hope you've enjoyed these editing sessions. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know as well. If there's anything else that you want um, in this course or wherever you're watching this in terms of tutorials for photography, let me know and I'll try to provide. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another tutorial.